Let's solve some problems here. A boy buys a toy for $20, a book for $10, and a compact disc for $15. How much does he pay for all? So all we have to do is we add up everything, all of the cost. The cost for the toy plus the cost of the book and the cost of the compact disc. So it's just... $20 plus $10 plus $15, which is just equal to $45 in all. So our answer here is letter C. Which number comes next in the following series? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So in this series here, um, the common difference is 2. To find the common difference, we just have to subtract the first and the second number, then the second, the third, and so on. So in this case, the common difference is 2. So we just have to add 2 to 12. Therefore, the next number is 14. So the answer is letter D. F is to this one. Okay, say this figure... So letter F here is turned 90 degrees clockwise. So originally it looks like this and then the result is like this when it is turned 90 degrees clockwise. So what will happen to letter P when it is turned 90 degrees clockwise? So it should be letter A. P would look like this. In the word Ecclesiastes, how many E's are there with an S next to them? So we have one, two, three E's here, but it says with an S next to them. Therefore, only this E here and this E here have S next to them. So the answer here is letter C, two. If a child can run 10 meters while a car travels 30 meters, how many meters can the child run while the car travels 66 meters? So we can let x be the distance in meters that the child can run while the car travels 66 meters. And then we can do ratio and proportion here. So if a child can run 10 meters while a car travels 30 meters, so that would be 10 meter, meters is to 30 meters equals x is to 66 meters. So now we can solve for x. We cross multiply. So this is just equal to x is just equal to um, 10 meters times 66 meters divided by 30 meters. So this is just equal to 22 meters. Therefore, our answer here is letter C. A team of clothing workers had an output of 1,000 uniforms per week. This output was increased by 20%, which demanded an increase of 50 uniforms per worker. How many workers are there on the team? Let X as the number of workers on the team or in the team. And we know here that the team's original output was 1,000 uniforms per week. And we also know that after the output increase, the team was producing 1,000 uniforms plus 20% of these 1,000 uniforms. So, so that would be the original output is 1,000 uniforms per week. And after the output increase of 20%, that would be 1,000 uniforms per week plus 20% of 1,000 
which is just equal to 200. So we add them up, 1,000 plus 200. Therefore, after the increase of 20%, um, the workers in the team would be producing 1,200 uniforms per week. And we also know that after the output increase, each worker was producing 50 more uniforms per week. So each worker here was producing um, 1,000, okay, the original number of uniforms produced per week, 1,000 over the number of workers. So originally, um, each worker was producing 1,000 over X uniforms per week. But after the increase of 20%, it is also increased um, by 50 uniforms per worker. So we just have to add one, um, 50 to 1,000 over X. So by dividing 1,000 uniforms per week by the number of workers, then we can get the number of uniforms per week per worker. So we can set up an equation from here. So we can write 1,000, 1,000, the original number of uniforms produced per week divided by the number of workers plus 50 uniforms per worker after the increase of 20% is just equal to um, the number of uniforms produced per week after the increase of 20% divided by the total number of workers. So now we can solve for the number of workers. So we can just subtract 50 from both sides. So this cancels out. So this is 1,000 over x equals 1,200 over x minus 50. And, and then we subtract 1,200 over x from both sides. And this cancels out. Or um, from the start, we can subtract 1,200 over x first, and then 50. And then we have 1,000 over x minus 1,200 over x equals negative 50. Since the two expressions here have the same denominator, so we can just subtract them directly. So that is 1,000 minus 1,200. This is just equal to negative 200 over x equals negative 50. And multiplying both sides by x, this one. So x here cancels out. So we have negative 200 equals negative 50 over x. And we divide both sides by negative 50. Therefore, x is just equal to 4. So the number of workers in the team is just equal to 4. If in the army there is one officer for every 16 privates, how many officers are there in a regiment consisting of 1,105 officers and privates? So it's given here that in each group, so one group consists of one officer plus 16 privates. So there is a total of 17 um, soldiers or people in each group. Now we have a total of 1,105 officers and privates, so we just have to divide 1,105 by 17. So there's 1,105 divided by 17 people in each group. So we get 
65. So there are 65 groups in 1,105 officers and privates. So therefore, there is also 65 officers. So the answer here is letter B. Okay, we're given here shapes. So the first one is this one. This shape is to this one. So we have a circle here cut into half is to half of this, the semicircle. And then we have here a rectangle which is cut into half. So which one should be the answer here? We have A, B, C, D. So we have A, it doesn't look, it should look like this or this one. So we only have B here that looks exactly one of the shapes from the rectangle.